Hey everyone, Insane Sticky here. Today we begin our journey on official PvE. This is our how to get started video. In this video, we're going to pull off my method of getting out and onto the water. It doesn't take very long, less than an hour. After that, we go get uh, some gold from ship dives and floating boxes. And then at about the 17 minute mark, we get really PvE'd on. So I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and ring that bell. Cheers. As you saw when we spoke to the dude at the end of the dock there, we need 225 fibers, 75 hide, and 250 wood for our first sloop. And I like to start off with the sloop for a bit of room and it gives us a good opportunity to explore a bit more. If you go into your inventory and go over to the skills tab, you can see there's a number of different uh, skills for you to choose from. I'll leave that one up to you guys. I prefer to try and unlock everything with spears, tools, smithy, and I try and unlock the water barrel as well before anything else. Um, but it's completely up to you how you go about it. From here, you can also go over to the company tab and create your company. We'll name our Lazy Army for our stream team, and we'll go from there. So the first thing we're going to want to do is grab some stone. You can find these on the ground. Get some fiber from some of the plants that look like this, and you get wood and thatch by punching a tree. From there you can make your first tool, which is a stone pickaxe. Gather the resource to make a stone hatchet and a spear and you're on your way. These plants down here, they give you the, I think it's pronounced a sai berry or a kai berry. That's uh, one of the food sources here. You'll also find a uh, little, I guess, I honestly can't pronounce that one, acerola, acarola. From this tree, this one here gives you turmeric. And down here you have your fresh water source. In order to get hide, we want to start killing some of the local wildlife. Over here we find a turtle, I find it's best to step back as you're attacking them with a spear. Uh, they'll also give us shell, which is a keratin-like substance. Uh, we also get something similar from the wild pigs as well, we'll need that for the water barrel. Now as I mentioned one of the things I like to unlock is the water barrel. This is very important for longer voyages, it collects water from obviously rain while the lid's open and it's just a good source of fresh water while you're out in the ocean and helps keep you alive. So it looks like the only thing we're missing is fiber, so we'll go ahead and go uh, collect some more and go get our sloop built. Now, you can name it whatever you want, but we'll go ahead and 
and name ours Explorer as we're going to be using it to explore the new PVE map. While we hear these bushes here contain elderberries, which is good to know. So we're just going to quickly gather some resources and get our first few things built. So we're going to go ahead and place our bed. I like to put mine just around here where there's a bit of room. And we'll chuck down a couple of campfires, uh, get some wood burning and some meat cooking. So we'll chuck one here for when it's cold right next to the uh, person on the wheel. And... I don't know, fuck it. We'll just put the other one behind it, I think. Yeah, there's no room on the other side. There we go. We'll get some meat cooking and we'll start the wood burning for some charcoal. Wood's easy enough to come by, charcoal's going to be important for when we want to make gunpowder. So we'll go ahead and farm up a bit more hide and some other resources that we need and we'll get back to it. So now it's time to chuck down some storage just because it's getting a bit hard to walk around with all the resources on us. So we'll put a couple of boxes down and we'll keep on farming. These rocks with the greenish colouring on them contain metal, uh, so these are your metal nodes. There are different ones with different types of metal. If you're new to Atlas, Atlas has various types of different resources, but we'll go ahead and grab some of this now. So if you ever find yourself over encumbered and wanting to move a little bit faster, all you have to do is hit R to go into combat mode and use the scroll wheel, I scroll back and it does the, I guess I, you could call it a power punch, it just steps you forward a couple of steps a lot quicker than it would normally take while you're encumbered. You do have to lay down uh, more frequently to recover your stamina, but overall you move a bit quicker. Let's go ahead and put down our smithy now. Uh, the smithy is a major upgrade for us, means we can make metal tools, which makes farming more efficient, you get the idea.
NPC here is your crew recruiter. You can go to him and hire NPCs for five golds. You can also get your skills reset here as well, but you get a free one each level, uh, level up you get. Right, we're gonna go ahead and create our water barrel now and get this place down and I think we're just about ready. When you're ready to go, you just go ahead, you've got to manually turn and open up your sails to get going. And all in all, I think this was about 45 minutes or so uh, for us to be ready to get going. So we're going to go over to another grid, get some gold, come back and hire some NPCs. And that's it. So this here is the wall between servers or grids, cross through it, you'll get a small load time and then you'll be in the next tile on the atlas. There's a shipwreck but I don't think I have the ability to dive. shark in the water just over there so I want to get close to the ladder with this one. That'll do. Nine gold, almost enough for two straight away. durability walls that aren't actually that expensive either. So over there we can see some ship of the dam, we're gonna have a run in with these two later on in the video. So in our skill tree we did upskill some of the diving traits so we're going to go ahead and have a go at getting this sunken treasure, it can give quite a lot of gold, better blueprints in the floating boxes and we'll see what we get. You always want to gamma up when you do this too because it gets quite dark down here.
162 gold, not too shabby. Why not? We'll go ahead and get another dive. Seeing as we can do it, we might as well. Oh my god. No, 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 no! Oh my god. Yes! What did we get? I mean, it's something. And another 160 gold. We did it, we did it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No eating here tonight. No eating here tonight. No, no, no eating here tonight. You're on a diet. Alright, let's cross this fucking border. Back to the Freeport. Luckily, whatever I didn't hit record for, I can grab from the Twitch pod. Oh Lord. Don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. It should leave me alone. I am dead. Let's get the gold. A couple of bits and pieces. I shouldn't need that much. Looks like we're swimming, boys. Oh no, it killed me. Broke the bed too. So determined to get uh, the gold, the blueprints back, I ended up making two sloops and a raft to get back out and get my shit. On a plus note, I get my sloop build time down to five minutes. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. But uh, yeah, just enjoy the next uh, next segment. friends now.
It's just so kind of random. There it is. Stop getting close. Don't you ever grow. You really shouldn't have a teeny tiny slip. For fuck's sake, there's another one. Oh, it's aggroed. Oh, that one's bugged. Alright, let's just leave the sloop. Let it cross. it. I don't give a fuck about the rest of it. I got the important stuff. That way. Oh fuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Just get it moving. This thing's sinking regardless. Oh, it's the second one I've lost. Now, I thought these things weren't meant to aggro too, too much on uh, sloops, but apparently they do. Maybe it's rafts I'm thinking of. Fuck you. I just got all the way back out there to get all my gold and stuff. Let's build another one. They aggro on anything they Oh look, yeah, it's sunk now. There we go. It's sunk. It just wasn't appearing as sunk on my uh, on my map. Fuck you. I hate you. What am I missing? Fuck. Brother sharks. Stay away from Explorer 
Why does this game hate me more than Ark does? So basically just hope that the people where I want to build the people are online is what I'm hearing. Alright, load this up. Take a bit out. And with that we make it back to the freeport, we buy our NPCs and we're finally on our way. That little excursion only sets us back, I think, towards the end. I figured out it was about two and a half hours, which is fun. But we get to our island in the end. That seems... I'm not used to seeing the jump like that either. Alrighty. Bad manners, are you still here? Where are we going? We're going to J3, right? Northwest? Now in order to use the NPCs in the sails, all you gotta do is you hit comma at the mast, it'll assign the NPC to the sail, you hold down shift and your A and D keys will rotate the sails, W will lower the sails and S will pull them back up. Yeah, I just had the fucking PVE cuck me harder than it ever did on Ark, and instead of leaving the game, I spent a fucking hour and a half trying to fucking get past it. If you've made it this far into the video, please hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, show the channel some support, help me keep motivated to get these videos out once a week, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks very much.